morning. My name is Thomas Marshall, and I'm here to talk, you, talk to you about the health of our oceans. My research question was, to what extent would the change to only renewable resources as a source of energy affect marine life? My argument is that the increase of renewable resources as a source of energy would have too many downfalls and not enough positive impacts to be fully implemented. Uh, one of my claims is that the lack of non-renewable resources would lead to a large amount of unemployment. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 142,000 people work either mining coal or extracting oil and natural gases. 478,000 people work at gas stations. At least 620,000 people in the United States alone would be left without a job if these industries just disappeared. That's more people than there are in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, it's just another claim that it's too big of a change. According to the Edison Electric Institute, it's estimated that in 2030, only about 7% of the 259 million vehicles on the road will be electric. That still leaves about 241 million vehicles. Cheap electric cars tend to cost around $30,000, while cars that are on gas tend to be half of that or less. People in low-income households, they can't afford the change to the electric cars that people want to push. It would also hurt the economy. As you can see in this chart, uh, we import, this is, it shows the amount of barrels in millions that we import from different countries. Canada being the top, and Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Venezuela, and Iraq. We import 4.29 million barrels of petroleum oil from Canada every day. Uh, now, some might say that uh, this is a chart from one of the singles provided. It shows uh, what it's predicted to be in. Uh, 2100, if we keep on the way that we're going. This is a shell of a this kind of animal, and it's the prediction as to what it would look like after 45 days in that kind of ocean due to pH levels lowering due to ocean acidification. My solution for helping marine life in the ocean is beach cleanups. According to another stimulus provided, there are currently 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic debris in the ocean. Uh, the Ocean Conservancy has collected 300 million pounds of trash in 30 years of cleanups. Another solution is to use refillable water bottles. More than 8 million tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year. Over 90% of that is comprised of plastic water bottles. Limitations to these solutions is that beach cleanups, a large limitation with that is that people don't live near the beach sometimes, like in the previously mentioned Wisconsin, the closest beach, or like the closest ocean is like a 12 hour drive. And with refillable water bottles, uh, some people don't like the inconvenience of having to carry around a water bottle with them to wherever they go. They like to use the plastic water bottle and just throw it out when they're done. Thank you. All right, two questions I have for you. First up, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use and why didn't you use it? I gathered other evidence from the NOAA that I didn't use, and I didn't use it because I changed my research question. Okay, and um, what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? I would say to do your more, sorry, to, <laughs> to do more research and to not procrastinate. All right, that works. Thank you.